I never understood how hard it was to acknowledge that everything is actually working out in my favor. I just can't see it yet. And what I mean by that is that we cannot see everything that's in the physical or the spiritual, meaning we are limited to what we get access to view, meaning that we don't we don't get to see conversations that happen in every room. We're not omnipresent. We don't get to we don't get to see everything that's happening at the time that it's happening. We do not get to see all these things. We see what is in front of us. That's it. And we have insight on certain things, you know, from other people telling us or, you know, God just giving us insight, which comes with the spiritual God giving us insight in, you know, certain, um, certain messages through our mind, through our spirit. And it took me a while again to understand that everything is working out in my favor. And when I came to realization that I do not know best, and I know that sounds crazy to say because you should know that you don't know best, but it's hard to acknowledge that you actually don't know best and you don't know your best interest. You don't know what's actually best for you. You might think you know, you might think what you want is is what should happen. You might think all your desires are um, the best way of going about situations, and it's not. Because, for example, if things went my way, I would be working at a nine to five. I would be building up all this money to start a business. I would be starting the business. I would also be buying three cars. I would be buying my own house. Um, I would be taking trips every single week. I would be, you know what I'm saying? I would, I would be spending on certain things that I possibly don't need. And I would also be in a different mindset, right? And when I came to realization that Not only is God protecting me from things, people, opportunities in the future, whatever is down the line that I can't see, he's also protecting other people from me. And I don't mean that in a bad way of like, I'm just a bad person. I just simply mean, for example, um, when God has, you know, certain situations end, when he, you know, has natural departures for certain relationships or certain friendships, for example, when you just lose friends. You guys just, you know what I'm saying, natural, have natural departures. You lose relationships. One of you might question, you know, why, 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 God? You know what I'm saying? And not understanding that, let's say you're the person that would have affected the other person. Um, God is protecting that person from you delaying that person's blessings, from you affecting this person's blessings because this person is growing apart from you. Meaning, let's just say their their um their passion is to be a doctor, and your passion is to be an entrepreneur that travels a lot, and God is saying that in the future that's not going to work out. It worked out for as long as it could, but for the for the next season, this, because this person is a doctor, I'm not saying every situation. I'm just saying I'm just giving an example of this person's profession is going. They're going to be a doctor in their hometown, right? And you're going to be somebody that is always traveling, and your love language is physical touch and quality time. And because you travel so much for work, you're not going to be able to see this person, right? So God's protecting you from, you know what I'm saying, potentially um, not receiving the love that you deserve or you feel like you deserve because you have a certain love language. And God is protecting them from you constantly going back and forth, traveling, and them having to keep up with you, Right? They might not understand your lifestyle. And I'm not saying, again, that's not for every situation. I'm just saying there's certain situations where God protects both or all parties, right? It's not just about you. And the more that I remind myself that, the more I'm okay with moving forward and letting God be God. Because if God wanted me to know everything and, you know, have it my way, I would be God. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not for a reason. And Again, when I just acknowledge that God is protecting every party involved, not just you, you're not the only child of God, the more I sit back and and I'm not so selfish with my desires. I'm not so selfish with what I want out of life because I know that even if I don't get it at this moment, there's a reasoning and it's not just me involved in that. You know, certain relationships that ended, I might have questioned God, like, why did you have to end this? And I thought that I wanted it and the whole time. 
that's not what I want. You know what I'm saying? And God knows your core. God knows your heart. He knows what your spirit desires. So imagine every time in the past, and I know everybody goes through this times where they question, like, God, why can I get that? Why did you not give that to me? Why do I have to wait for this? And later down the line, I can just, I just know so many people that go back and say, wow, thank you, God, for not allowing me to get the thing I thought I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many relationships where I'm like, this is my soulmate. You know, every single relationship, I'm like, all right, this is the one. Right, God, I pray for this one. I pray for a lot of a lot of my relationships. And God said no. And I didn't understand it at the time. I didn't I didn't really understand why I couldn't have that person or why things had to end the way they did or why people had to do things, why I had to do things, you know what I'm saying? And it's not until the time has passed and, you know, God reveals it to you that you see that that's not actually what you wanted. You know, you wanted a healthy relationship where you were understood, you didn't want this person, this person didn't understand you, you you were in love with their potential, you wanted them to become that person, which God is telling you, you know, protecting you and saying, they might not ever become that person, and it's not even that it's a bad thing, because you might, your understanding, like, what you want out of somebody, like, meaning, like, the understanding that you want from a partner might not be the quote-unquote right way of understanding, it just means it's your way, which is why it's so important to understand who you're compatible with and what, what you actually desire out of a relationship so that you know what you do and you don't want. So imagine all these things, all these career choices, all these, you know what I'm saying, even a tattoo, simple as a tattoo or a piercing, things that you thought you wanted and God cut off um, access to that or he just simply didn't allow it to happen. And we question God so much until we realize, wow, I'm glad I didn't have that. Which is why it's so it's so easy to not have regrets because you look back and you say, well, I wouldn't have changed anything. You know, if, if I had the things that I thought I wanted, man, my life would be in shambles. And I think we all need to look at life like that is if we got the things we wanted, we would not be satisfied. We would be in chaos. And I have to, again, keep reminding myself, I am not the one that's in every room. God is. He hears those conversations that are had. He sees things that I don't see. He sees people manipulating me that I don't see. You know what I'm saying? So when he says, you need to drop these certain friends. You need to drop this relationship. You need to stop that career choice. You need to stop this. He's saying that for a reason, right? He told me to quit my nine to five. I have not worked nine to five in I don't know how long, right? Imagine if I still worked a nine to five and I was so focused on working that nine to five that I didn't have time to post my content. I couldn't fall in love with my content because I was so tired from working a nine to five. Because God knows my heart. He knows what my spirit desires. He knows what I actually want, not the not the surface level desires. He knows what my heart wants. And not and not just what my heart wants. He knows it past what my heart wants. Because your heart can deceive you. Your heart can want something so bad to where it deceives you and it and it gets it by any means possible. He knows the healthy way to get what my heart wants. And I thank him for that because I'm I'm at a position where I'm so much at peace with my situation. I'm so much happier now that I'm not making what I thought I needed to make in order to be happy. I thought that my potential was was based on how much money I made or, you know, certain certain um features about myself I had to look a certain way I had to make a certain amount of money I had to have a certain job you know and God is just bringing me back to me and bringing me back to understanding that that is a society's way of making you feel like you have to be something when you know that you're not that and it takes re- really sitting with yourself and understanding that you have to you have to first see yourself for who you are because I am nothing like what society wants me to be and God has shown me that and now that I see that I don't I don't stick to the standards of society of saying you need to grind so hard and you need to work a nine to five you need to wear certain clothing to be attractive you need to you know what I'm saying get certain tattoos you need to get piercings you need to you know be shaped a certain way I don't I don't stick to those standards anymore because I know who I am at my core I know who God made me to be and in doing that I'm understanding that the things that I want out of life 
aren't attached to a standard of society. Again, it's not attached to what the majority wants. It's attached to my core belief as a human being. And I say all this to get people to understand that God is protecting, again, everybody in the situation. It's not just about you. And the more that you can understand that, the more that you can stop pointing the fingers at God and point them right back to yourself and say, okay, what can God be teaching me in this? Why do I feel like God isn't giving me this at the moment? Because if you do that, you'll realize, wow, I don't even deserve what I'm asking for at the moment. I need to align to this. You're asking for a healthy relationship and you still have trauma that you have not healed from 10 years ago. You're asking for a healthy marriage and for somebody to lead you and you cannot stop um, being masculine for one second. You always feel like you have to do it yourself. And when people, you know, um, try to help you, you don't let them help you. You know what I'm saying? You have to align to a specific way of being. If you want something, you have to be in alignment with it in order to attract it. And the more that I reflect every situation back to myself and say, okay, I'm not getting this for a specific reason. There is a reason why God is not allowing this to come into my life because, again, he's not just protecting you. He's not protecting you. He's protecting everybody involved, meaning that if you're not healed, he's not going to bring a healthy man into your life that is healed because you're going to hurt him. He's protecting that man from you. And a lot of people, again, don't want to acknowledge that sometimes God is protecting other people from you. It doesn't mean you're the bad person. It just means you have things to work on and God is not going to allow you to hurt his child like that. The same way he protects you is the same way he protects all of his children. And I think we have to constantly remind ourselves that that is that God loves all his children. It's not just you. You're not the only one being affected in, in situations. You're not the only one being protected. So just look at it that way. Look at it as if, if God put you in certain situations and you're not the healthiest, you might ruin it. If you don't have good money management skills, why would God provide a healthy income for you if you don't know how to manage money, if you're just going to spend it? He doesn't want you to do that. So he's going to wait until you learn how to manage your money with little money. What, what, he's going to see what are you going to do with little money, and then he's going to give you more, and then he's going to give you more to see what are you going to do with this money that I give you. Are you just going to blow it? Because I'll tell you right now, God isn't just going to give you a check for a million dollars and be like, here you go. No, he's going to slowly build that up. You know, the devil will give you quick stuff, a quick check. God will build it up so that you learn. You know what I'm saying? And I just remember, like, God just teaching me certain things, teaching me how to be a healthy wife. I'm not even, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even married yet. He's teaching me how to be a healthy wife. I never used to be the cleansiest person, meaning I don't care to clean right this second. I don't care to care to do dishes every single second of the day. I don't care to... You know what I'm saying? Do laundry every day. I don't care to do certain like things like that. And I just feel like for the next season of my life or the, you know, seasons down the line, I have to be that type of person. I have to care to take care of my household. I have to be that type of person. I have to, you know what I'm saying? Cook and clean. I'm going to have to do that. And I just know that every season has its, has its um purposes. And again, you know, there was a season in my life where God was just teaching me a lot. He was teaching me how to communicate effectively and clearly and not yell and not be so angry and and so easily triggered because in the future, I'm going to have to learn to communicate with my husband like that. That's something I'm going to have to learn to do. I have to. It's not a, it's not a question about it because I know that that's, that's happening down the line. God has given me insight on that. So I have to align to that because God's not going to bring that person in. Until you are healthy, until you learn to com- communicate effectively, until you, you're not so easily triggered and you, you want to leave after one little argument. You know what I'm saying? God had to heal my abandonment wounds to where I, I you know what I'm saying? I, I went through childhood trauma and it affected me a lot. God had to heal that in me so where I'm not running from people before they can run from me. I'm not self-sabotaging people and things that God is bringing to me out of simply him giving me blessings and me thinking that. You know, it's going to run from me or this is a joke or God is tricking me and I run from it. God had to heal that in me. So just understand that you are not God. You cannot see everything. There's a reason for everything. 
There's a reason for everything. Everything that happens in your life. Everything. And the more that I sit with that, the more that I'm okay with waiting for God. And in waiting, that doesn't mean that I'm just sitting around doing nothing. That means I am okay with surrendering the promise up to God. I'm okay with situations not happening. Because if I try something and it doesn't work out, let's say I go into a certain career field, doesn't work out, it might not be for me. If God calls it back on my heart, I might go back into it. But it doesn't. It, it means it's not for me. You know, if I try to date certain people and it just doesn't work out constantly, that person is, isn't for me. And that's okay. I think so many people are are so so upset with things ending and not sticking forever. We had this this illusion that everything has to stay forever and that's not realistic. So just understanding that <clears throat> excuse me that things that end are for a reason. Everything has its purpose, everything has time limits and just seeing the blessing in things even if they didn't last as long as I wanted them to last and actually Again, acknowledging that I am not the only one being protected. There are people that are being protected from me and from the things that I have not healed from yet. So I don't know who needs to hear that, but that that was the word that was on my on my brain today. And, you know, it's helping me the more that I remind myself that God is God for a reason. And he knows best. And my way is not the best way. It is certainly not the best way. So... Yeah, take that word and take it back to God. Pray on it. I love you guys and have a good day.